Hello, my name is David Quirk. Hello. Oh, I got into stand-up comedy years ago. In the early 2000s, I was studying. I'm a goddamn artist, and I was studying uh, a thing called performance studies, you know, which I was an actor at the time, and I'm still an actor, but somehow I got into stand-up comedy through this course, and I had to do it as a class, and uh, I had to do a stand-up set. I did five minutes, and people laughed, and... I still did some of those jokes for the first year or two of stand-up. Yeah, I probably still do them. I can't remember. Basically, uh, I was... Even when I was getting paid doing stand-up, for a long time I was working in a skateboard shop. I'm a skateboarder and I've done work skateboard retail. The best part about being a comedian... Try, how do I answer that? Seriously. Um, the best... I don't know. I suppose it, it maybe it keeps changing for me, but I really feel like I like the idea of like a singer songwriter. Those two words occurred to me. It's like wow, it's a they they perform their own material, and there is some sort of weird merit, I think, in actually having your own original ideas, and hopefully they are that, and then saying them out loud to people and them responding, and you know, in some small way, changing their their little lives. First open mic was a now defunct room in Melbourne. I think it was called the Armadale Hotel and it was a night called Champagne Comedy and it wasn't that champagne. Yes, I bombed, uh, this is appropriate, I bombed on this stage about 13 or 14 months ago at the sit down because I chose to tell a story that was a real centerpiece of a live show I was doing at the comedy festivals around around the world and uh, for some reason I just thought it would be good to bring out that 14 minute story in my 30 minute set and it wasn't I had no idea it wasn't until I was part way through it I was like oh, I'm fucking just gonna have to see this through now I could it was really horrible um, people their comics were laughing at me after it and I wanted to shoot myself it's good to be back I love Doug Stanhope, I love Stuart Lee, I love uh, Daniel Kitson, I think uh, Tig Notaro is fantastic, um, Sarah Silverman, these are all internationals, I'm sure. <sighs> I'm a good friend of Sam Simmons, I love him. Look, I've done like a couple of galas in the comedy festival, Melbourne Comedy Festival, that were pretty sort of great, I suppose. Um, Oh, you know, I suppose hands down it would be the um, winning the Piece of Wood Award, uh, which is a, a comic peer voted award at the Comedy Festival in Melbourne. And I won that, I think, in 2013. And that's that was a, that was a proud moment. Um, it wasn't to do with money. It wasn't to do with anything like that. It was just uh, people uh, that I respect uh, seem to respect me. That meant a lot to me. Yeah. Oh, it's changed. It's changed a lot. Like I remember, I used to do jokes that had certain topics in them that I definitely would not even touch now. I thought they were maybe funny at the time. Maybe they were pushing buttons, and they just they they were not cool. And I don't do that stuff anymore. And I think more and more people are learning that because the culture around us is changing or has changed. And I th I think it's for the better. Comedy should always still push any and every area, but it's everyone has to take responsibility for the for the gear they're doing. And I think that's happening more and more. So that's changed. I think. Do your own thing, like try and do your own thing. Uh, that's the only thing that's got me anywhere is really just almost disregarding what, what else is happening in the, the, the world comedically and just see what happens when you come up with the idea and just really try and let that, because no one else can do it and only you can do it and just, li just have faith, have faith, I suppose, in, your, in what you're doing. Tonight in about... 25 minutes I do a comedy set here the sit down that's great I'm really looking forward to it um, I'm in Sydney next week doing gigs at the, the comedy store and more importantly for me at the moment I'm about to do a work in progress two nights in Melbourne if anyone's watching this from Melbourne it's, um, it's pathetically called a David Quirk in progress I'm writing this for the ne next year's festivals come along and see that uh, it's on the 13th and the 20th of September in Melbourne. Just follow me on Instagram and I'll keep posting about that. David Quirk, aka Deadbeat. That's D E D B E T, like beetroot, Deadbeat. And come and see that. That's a big deal for me.